One player I wanted to touch on in that formation is Alfonso Davies. Now, obviously, he's a left back for Bayern Munich. For Canada, they need him more of an advanced player. Do you think the formation fits him pretty well, too? Because he basically gets that whole left side to to run up and down and, and do what Alfonso Davies is supposed to do for Canada, right? I think it's an interesting one with Alfonso Davies because over the last little while, he has played that free role for Canada. It's not necessarily been a left back or a left mid drift centrally. He's a creative player. He can drive through those spaces. And I, again, with Kone, I could go on and on about Ishmael Kone and how he's changed this team. But again, linking up with Kone and Nostakio in the midfield, being able to drive into the spaces, acting as a third, fourth, fifth midfielder, essentially, is important to this team. So to have him in that free role is beneficial, but it's been beneficial to him showing his quality. It hasn't necessarily helped the team. What I think we saw this window was he was a little bit more stuck to that left side and was driving in that position. He was able to drift forward, drift back, and he was almost in a free roll on that left side. That's not necessarily something we've seen from Alfonso Davies and this national team before, but that's also because he hasn't had a defined role. And I think this window is the first step towards finding a defined role. He's not going to play in the same role every time for Canada. He's too good not to, mm-hmm. right? He can play any role on the field. Put him in net. He'll, he'll do fine. <laughs> Like he he can play any role on the field. He's that good. Um, and so I think keeping him to that left side as he did this window is important, but not to allow him to take the weight of the national team. He doesn't need to draft in the midfield. You have a good midfield. You have good forwards. He needs to do his job on the left side. And that can be at left back or left midfield or free roll in between there. Because you have Adekubi on the left side as well, who's a quality player in his own right. And so you don't necessarily need that tracking back, that solidity that Alfonso Davies can offer on that left side. You have two quality players that can overlap there and link together well. They've shown that they can link together well. And then you also have a bit more balance now because Alistair Johnston comes back into the Canadian men's national team from a few months at Celtic. The first time he's been after a, a his stint at Celtic. And he's more comfortable going forward. He wasn't necessarily the best at attacking before Celtic, but Celtic has played him a little bit more centrally, a little bit higher up, almost as a holding midfielder on the right side, right-sided holding midfielder. And he comes back into the right-sided centre-back role with Canada, and he's thriving there. He looked like a new player in this camp. I mm-hmm. think it was a little bit overshadowed by the fact that Laren's popping in the goals and there's Kone doing what he does in the midfield at, at such a young age. Um, but I think Alistair Johnston was a new player and that helps balance out Canada as well, because it doesn't mean that they're always relying on that left side of Alphonse Davies and sometimes Sam Adekubi. 